In life, we measure everything through several means to be sure that we are getting the best out of what it is that we are having. When we go to the market, for instance, to buy a cup or paint of gari, we will usually go to the seller with the finest gari, the one that fills her container past the brim, the one that sells heartily. We take into consideration so many factors and much more in things like that. Also, in another setting, when it comes to what we have to wear, we will definitely choose quality if we have that as an option before us. We will also choose what suits us better. We wouldn't go for anything less than our body size. We will opt for the best detergent for our laundry. We wouldn't want our clothes spoiled from fake products. We will often use the right measurements to get the right recipe we are looking for in our meals. We always look out for the best in many ways, but are often so quick to settle for less in finding the right one when it is crystal clear that we deserve the best. Just as with everything in life, there is a standard. There is the best version of everything. There is the possibility of having the marriage of your dreams. It almost seems as though with each passing moment, as the years go by, we unknowingly tweak the standard to suit our own personal gains or so we think the standard appears unattainable so we try to see how we can go below the standard but make it look like it's still the standard unlike it is popularly believed we can't lower the standard we can only go below standard the standard will always be there so instead of the standard what we have is often things begging to look like what we hope for. This often stems from settling for less. There is a pressure from within and without to be with someone. It therefore becomes so easy to go with the next person that seems available, even when we know within that this will be like embarking on a journey with many potholes. We need to take a seat and tell ourselves the truth. All those things mixed up with the standard need to be removed if we want to get the best and enjoy it through the seasons of life. So what is the standard? It is like a beautiful garden, but the winds blow into it seeds of various kinds that become weeds that affect the state of the garden. There's need to uproot those weeds. When you decide to have a child for a married man because you have long waited for someone you can marry and you are more worried about your biological clock, you are depriving yourself from the best that God has in store for you. When you choose to marry that lady because she's wealthy and not because she's the right one, you are shortchanging yourself. A lot of times, our choices are often based on how we see ourselves or what we think of ourselves. When we do not have the right value of who we can be, it's very easy to settle for less. You need to clear out the weeds so that in time of harvest, you can have the best produce and enjoy the labor you spent in sowing. We can only have the right standards and wait patiently for the best if our lives align with godly standards and principles. 
we can only see ourselves in the right lens when we know who we are in Christ. Outside of Him, we won't think we are good enough to enjoy the right marriage. We won't think we are good enough for the best person that He has in store for us. We will imagine that we have to struggle to even find someone who can accept us and we can settle with them even though they are not right for us. But this doesn't have to be the case. When you choose to go in the path that draws you closer to God, your heart will long to be with someone who also longs for God and you won't settle no matter what till you find that person who exemplifies what God designed as a recipe for a peaceful marriage. Until then, you will wait. And although sometimes the wait may seem difficult, be encouraged to lean on Him and find everything you desire in Him, as He is the source of every good thing. I hope that this video has inspired you one way or the other not to settle for less when it comes to finding the right person. And this video may be speaking to you in other areas of your life. It's important that you align your life's path with the standard, which is the godly path. And be sure that God is going to guide and direct you to the right things for you. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for always. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye.